Hello. This is Uncle John. John reads totally improvised bedtime stories. I do not read stories. I only look at the pictures from storybooks, and make up the stories as I go along. This is a near ASMR podcast. It is for children and parents who have a hard time going to bed. Some of my humor is for the children, and I hope some of my humor is for the parents. My stories don't always make sense. Sometimes, I don't finish my stories. The only purpose is for the little ones to fall asleep. And maybe I can help mom and dad fall asleep too. I don't know the stories before I tell them. Nothing I say will be bad. But some parents might have strong opinions about certain topics. This is also a live stream, so I will sometimes stop and talk to viewers. I will tell the story twice for the podcast. Sound is very important for story time. Now I will turn on white noise. Now I will turn on music. Now I will adjust the sound so it is comfortable. It is time for me to tell a story. All right. Tonight's story is called "The Discontented Frogs."、Mm. Frogs,、oh. frogs are basically lizards. They're like they're they're the same kind of animal as snakes and spiders. And all of the other things that you know, their their skin's kind of funky, but also kind of cool at the same time. In a discontented frog, well, discontented has a smaller word inside it. Do you know what the smaller word is? That's right, disco. If you look. At the picture,、uh, I will try to describe this picture. It's it's four frogs. They are standing on the lily pads. Lily pads are like flowers that float on a pond, and they're standing on the lily pads, and they are listening to headphones. That's because they're listening to disco. Do you like to listen to disco, like the frogs like to listen to disco?、Mm. Do you know? Do you know what sound disco makes? It's called groovy sound. Disco is groovy. How about your mom and your dad? Do they listen to disco? 
Do they listen to groovy music? I like to listen to the police, their disco, their groovy, and sometimes I like to listen to the Eagles, their disco too, and their groovy. Miley Cyrus, is she disco too? I bet she listens to disco. Anyway, these four frogs, they're listening to disco. And that's why it's called, the story is called The Disco Tented Frogs. And in this picture, the sky is, is orange and yellow and red. And the letters in this storybook they're kind of like Halloween letters. So even though the story is about groovy music, you know, like disco, I don't know, it seems like a little bit of a scary, a scary picture a little bit. I mean, I'm not scared, but maybe the frogs are a little bit scared. And I wonder, maybe this story is about the apocalypse. Do you know what an apocalypse is? Mm, we'll find out. Oh. Now, now, the sky isn't burning orange and yellow and red from, from nuclear fire. Now it's nighttime. And and the four frogs, they seem to be pretty, they seem to be pretty happy. They were a little nervous at first, but they're not nervous anymore. But suddenly, an owl comes. And did you know that in old, old, old times, ancient times, before there were buildings, and Netflix, and YouTube, and Miley Cyrus, and even in the old times before disco, when Uncle John John was a boy, he used to get letters, not by email and not on a phone, but by owls. You see, in the ancient times, owls would come and deliver a message. That was before telephones, before the post office. That's how people used to get their messages. And when I was a little boy, if I wanted to send a message to my friends, I would, I would call out for an owl. I'd say, hoo-hoo, hoo-hoo. And an owl would say, what, 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 what? That's because actually in my neighborhood, one of the owls, he kind of had a problem. He didn't really know his question words very good. That's an English major joke. Anyway, in this story, an owl comes out of the night and he comes to these four frogs who are just chilling, listening to disco. And he comes to them and he says, hey, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. And they said, what, 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 what? And the owl says, no, no, I, I asked you hoo hoo. And the frog said, oh yeah. Sorry about that. Um, and they said their names. And the owl said, okay, good. Now that I've got the right people, I'm gonna tell you a story. Did you see the sky was on fire today? And the frog said, yeah, we did. And we didn't really understand what that was about. Should we be nervous? And the owl said, yes, we should be nervous because these are the end times and the apocalypse is coming. So you need to prepare. You need to leave and try to find paradise. And the frog said, oh, wow, paradise. Is that anything like, I don't know, Hawaii or Mexico City? And the owl said, oh yeah, it's just like that. Frog said, okay, that's groovy. So, 
should we go now or, sh or should we go tomorrow or should we go next week? And the owl said, oh man, if I were you, I'd go right now. And the frog said, okay, we'll go tomorrow. I don't know why they said tomorrow, but they decided that was a good time. So they all went to sleep and they had a good sleep and they didn't dream about the apocalypse and they didn't dream about the four horsemen who were riding on a Johnny Cash song. Ask your grandparents. And what they did is they, they, they had dreams about disco and clouds made of cotton candy and uh, the, the sound of, of a gentle breeze. And they started feeling really sleepy, really sleepy. And they started to fall asleep. And then they did, they fell asleep. Now, are you asleep? If you're asleep, don't answer because then that means you are not sleeping. And if you're not asleep, ooh, are your eyes getting heavy? I bet your eyes are getting heavy. Mm. Well, the frogs had a really good sleep. And then when they woke up in the morning, they had breakfast. Now, in the next picture of this bedtime story, the disco intended frogs. They had breakfast burritos and orange juice and uh, pineapple juice and, and other stuff that frogs like to drink. And when they were ready, they got up, they made their bed, they found their best hats, and then they started walking. They started walking in the direction of paradise. As they were walking, they needed a little help. Oh, and what kind of help did they find? Well, they found help from a cow. Now, as they were walking, this cow kind of walked slowly toward them, kind of eating the grass. And the frog said, Hey cow, where are you going? And the cow said, hoo hoo, hoo hoo. And the frog said, no way, it's, it's the owl. And he magically turned into a cow. And he didn't think we would figure it out, but we caught him. Because he didn't know how cows talk. And the cow laughed and went, moo moo, I was just joking. It's really me. I'm a cow. I'm not an owl. And the frogs laughed. Ha 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 ha. So anyway, the frog said, "Okay, cow. We believe you're a cow. Uh, so why are you walking? Where are you going?" And the frog said, "Oh, that's a good question. Did you see the sky yesterday? It was burning on fire. I've never seen the sky burn on fire before." And the frog said, yeah, we did too. And Mr. Owl came late last night and he told us it was the coming of the apocalypse. Yeah, wow. And the cow said, oh, I kind of figured that's what it was. So I thought maybe I should start walking away from it and start walking towards, I don't know, someplace better. And the frog said, oh, oh, that's what we're doing too. We're walking, uh, towards this place called paradise. And the cow said, paradise, that sounds really great. Is, is what's paradise like? Is it like uh, Margaritaville? That's a, that's a hippie music joke. A ask your grandparents. So the frogs and the cows start walking together to paradise. And along the way, they came across a river now, the cow, he could just walk his way through the river, no big deal. But the frogs, 
frogs were going to have a really tough time. What were they going to do? So this big fish came by, really big fish. It actually kind of sort of looked like a dinosaur fish, you know, in the, uh, in the really old magazines uh, that talked about prehistoric fish from the before times. Or like when you go to the zoo, or not the zoo, maybe more like a museum. And you could see the bones from the dinosaurs, and they sometimes would show you pictures of like the the sea dinosaurs. Well, this fish was like so big, it, it kind of looked like one of those. And the the frogs were like, "Oh, hey, Mr. Fish, uh, what are you doing swimming this way?" And the fish said, "Oh, did you see this guy?" Okay, I'm just gonna skip ahead, you know, because basically he said the same thing that the cow said and then what the what the owl said and then what the frog said at the beginning of the story so i'm just not going to re repeat all of that and the frog said okay blah 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 and the, the fish said blah 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 and the frog said frogs all the frogs said blah 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 and we're going to paradise blah 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 so the fish basically said yeah i'm i want to go to paradise too um and the frog said yeah we want to go but we can't cross the, the river there's no lily ponds for us to jump on so we can jump across to the river and the fish said hey hey you guys why don't i just carry you over one at a time to the other side and the frogs were like oh man you're like the friendliest fish we ever did meet and that's what the fish did he just kind of opened his mouth but he didn't eat them because fish don't eat frogs don't worry about that Fish eat, fish eat, um, flies, and mosquitoes, and worms, and nuts, and, uh, coconuts, but they don't eat frogs. So eventually, the fish took, carried all of the fish in its mouth to the other side, and, uh, and the frog said, thank you very much, Mr. Fish, and we hope to see you in paradise. Now, as they were, as they were, they were going along, they, they met some more frogs who were walking their way. And they told the story, blah, 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 you know, fire, fire in the sky, four horsemen, end times, blah, 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 blah. And what the owl said, blah, 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 blah. And how the cow and the fish and everybody were all going on their way to uh, paradise. And the other frogs, oh, what's paradise like? Is it, is it anything like, you know, uh, 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 L.A. Santa Monica Boulevard? Like that Sheryl Crow song? Um, ask your older aunt and uncle. And anyway, they all decided they were all going to go to paradise together. And along the way, they came across herons. Do you know what a heron is? Ooh. A heron is a beautiful bird with really long legs and really wide wings and beautiful feathers. And a heron is so beautiful that some countries make it their national bird. It's kind of cool. And the frogs went up to one of the herons and said, Hey, herons, uh, where are you going? And the heron said, Hey, did you hear about, did you see the how the sky was on fire yesterday? Blah, 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 blah. And the frogs were blah, 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 blah. And the heron was blah, 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 blah. And eventually they decided they were all going to go to paradise together. But but the herons realized, Hey, you know what? My, my family and I, we're all going to go to paradise. But, you know, we can actually take you some other way to get you there faster. And the frogs were like, no way, you guys are like the nicest herons we ever did saw. And so that's exactly what they did. By the way, nicest herons we ever did saw, that's a, uh, that's a Looney Tunes reference. You know, there's Sylvester and Tweety Bird, and these herons are birds. Anyway, ask your grandparents. So, the herons picked up the frogs with their beaks, and don't worry, they didn't eat them, 
because herons don't eat frogs. Herons eat bird seed and uh, very rude little boys and girls. I hope you're not a rude boy and girl because that's what herons like to eat, little rude boys and girls. Yeah. And so the herons picked up the, the frogs in their beaks and, and flew and carried them many, 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 many miles uh, in the direction of paradise. And, and because of such a long way, and the breeze from flying uh, was brushing against the frog's eyes, the frog started to get sleepy, and their eyes started to get heavy, and started, started to sleep during the flight. Well, eventually the herons uh, put the frogs down near a pond and said, Oh, we're going to fly the rest of the way, but it's time for you and your friends to make your own way to paradise. And the frog said, Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Heron. And so they hop, 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 hop to the pond and they found some lily pads. And while they were at the lake, they met a family of ducks going quack, quack, quack. And the frog said to the ducks, Hey, what are you all doing here in this pond? And the ducks said, Oh, did you see the sky was burning on fire yesterday? And the frog said, Yeah, you saw it too. And then they had more conversation, blah, 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 back and forth, paradise, blah, 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 blah. And the ducks said, Oh, we want to go to paradise too. What's paradise like? Is it like a Guns N' Roses song? And the frog said, Sure. Ask your, ask your cool aunt or uncle about Guns N' Roses. Anyway, the ducks and the frogs talked together in the pond and they all decided that they were going to go to paradise together. And because they all were in a pond and the pond looked so beautiful and there were lily pads and the lily pads even had beautiful purple flowers on there, they decided, well, paradise can wait. They could stay where they were for another couple of days and rest. And that is the story of the discontented frogs. Mm. The end. Now I want to talk a little bit about the about this bedtime story that I found. It's from a really, really, really long time ago. Actually, this story was published, was first published in 1880. And that was like 10 years before Uncle John John was born. And yeah, that's a really long time ago. You, are you asleep yet? Maybe, maybe you should be asleep. Maybe you should. And this bedtime story, yeah, the back of this bedtime story is a page about other bedtime stories that maybe Uncle John John can read to you someday. And did you know, uh, uh, on this page that I'm reading about bedtime stories, I could buy each of these bedtime stories for you, and they're only 25 cents each. 25 cents, oh my gosh, that's, a, that's really cheap. I bet if you go to sleep now if you sleep and you have a good good sleep and your mom and your dad if they go to sleep now and they have a good good sleep in the morning when you wake up and you ask your mom and your dad real nice hey can can you buy uncle john john some of these stories for only 25 cents each Maybe they'll do that. Maybe they will 
hit the subscribe button. Maybe they'll hit the donate button. That's the link where they can maybe, if they're feeling extra Christmas-like, maybe give me not 25 cents, but maybe $25 for every story. If I read four stories for you, that's almost like... Anyway, I can't tell you very much because I still have to fill out my 1099. Anyway, that's not important right now. I want to read you some of the titles of some of the stories that I could read to you. For example, I could read you about the pumpkin house. What? A pumpkin house? Who could live in a pumpkin house? Let's find out. Uh, the three bears? Oh my gosh. Can you count to three? Count to three bears? Oh, let's find out. Uh, there's a there's a story called Hey Diddle Diddle. I don't know if I want to read that, especially before bedtime and if I've been drinking lots and lots of water. And by water, I mean wink wink. Is it really a water? I mean, if it if it looks like water and if it sloshes around like water and it smells like turpentine, it's probably a bottom of the shelf vodka. Visit St. Nicholas. Visit St. Nicholas, that's probably a Christmas story. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm really excited by that. Uh, the house that Jack built. The house that Jack built, oh my gosh. Can Jack build a house? I don't know. He can't even paint a wall good. I wouldn't want to live in a house that he can build. Oh my gosh. And what else? There's a, there's a story called Kindness to Animals. What kind of story is about the kindness of animals? And then there's a story that's called The Froggy Who Would A Wooing Go. A froggy? And what's a wooing? What, a, what kind of an action is that? Well, it doesn't sound like a passive action. It sounds like an active action. But you know what is a passive action? Sleeping. I sure hope you're sleeping right now because that's, that's your job. And my job is to end the story. And how I'm going to end this is I'm going to end the podcast with a closing song. Thank you.